Climate change is a public health issue because it impacts the environment that we live in. While most of my research is occurring in the Canadian Arctic, working collaboratively with Inuit, I also do work in, with Indigenous populations in Uganda and with Indigenous populations in Peru. And it's on similar topics, looking at how climate change is impacting people's health. What's really interesting is that these three places are very different. So they're different climates, different cultures, different languages, different health concerns. Um, it's a high middle and low income country. But what we found really striking and really surprising in our research group is that actually the pathways through which climate change is impacting health are all very similar. So climate change is impacting people's environment, which impacts people's health. Um, it impacts their food security, it impacts their water security and safety, and it impacts their mental health and well-being. And those were all common among those three different places, despite these huge differences in geography, culture, and language. When working with Indigenous populations in health research, it's really important to be doing community-based, community-led research. And so in the context of climate change research, um, our research early on worked really closely with communities in that community-led, community-engaged way, and we were trying to understand how climate change was impacting health. And when we were moving into the next phase of our project, we started asking our partners, what would be the next research question that would be really important to answer for community members? And they told us um, that it's been really interesting to understand how climate change is impacting their health, but what they wanted to do next was try to understand what they could do about it. And so we could have started to research, you know, what are climate change adaptations that would reduce the health impacts of climate change, but we wanted to take that a step further and ask the question, can research be used as a tool to adapt to climate change in and of itself? So what we've done is we've worked really closely with the community of Rigolette to develop an app that community members can take out on the land, take a smart device out on the land and take photos of things, take um, videos, um, record narratives, and share that with community members um, in a way that's searchable, archivable, that's based on Inuit knowledge and building from a, a place of strength um, and making it, I guess, easier for them to adapt to climate change. And climate change is projected to impact every single one of us. Um, and the World Health Organization has project, projected a variety of different impacts on, on human health. Um, so while my research focuses on um, climate change impacts on health in the Arctic, Uganda, and Peru, and my research works with indigenous communities, these, um, these challenges are not unique um, to indigenous peoples. They, they impact all of us. My name is Sherry Lee Harper, and this is Public Health.